What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? Hope y'all are doing awesome. Today's video, we're going to be talking about a self-defense or a home defense story for my little series that I started doing. I haven't done any in a while, but why we carry Wednesday. It's a, a home defense involving a guy using a bow and arrow or a crossbow to defend their home. So stay tuned for that. Yo, stay focused, man's on a mission Wavy like the ocean, ain't got time for inhibition Eyes on a prize, lock it in your vision Straight up, man, that's gotta make a decision Stay focused, man, I gotta go Can't be going backwards, I can't be going slow Gotta take the lead and I gotta steal the show And this, this article is coming from What's it coming from? Concealed Nation Dot org. Okay, I saw it on a Facebook post and I wanted to just so give credit where credit is due. This isn't my article. I found this on concealednation.org. So anyway, a Monroe County, a Monroe County homeowner uses a crossbow to fend off two intruders during a home invasion in French Town Township. One of the intruders was shot with an arrow and both suspects are now in custody. Sounds like a sounds like a pretty pretty fun little event there, huh? What's up guys? Hey, listen, since I got you, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to shoot for that six thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It costs you nothing. It's it's free. It takes you like five seconds. It it just hit it, smash it, caress it, whatever you gotta do, just do the things, you know, the YouTube stuff, you know, smash that subscribe button, as they say, or hit it, or, you know, like I said, caress it, or whatever other kinky little things you want to do with it. But hey, if you do do that kinky stuff with it, we don't need to know about it. You can keep that to yourself. Just whatever you do, just subscribe. Like I said, I'm trying to get that 6,000. That would be awesome if I can get that by the end of the year. It's my little goal for the year. It's it's September, end of September. So I'd like, it gives me three months. Try and get that. So if you wouldn't mind, hit that, hit, hit the button. You know, do the YouTube stuff. Anyway, I appreciate you all. I love you. I couldn't be doing this without you. I wouldn't be doing this without you. And I appreciate every single one of you. And anyway... Appreciate you. Back to the show. Frenchtown Township, MI. I think that's Michigan, right? MI, Michigan? I believe so. Early Tuesday morning, a Moreau County homeowner successfully defended their home against two intruders using a crossbow to stop the invasion. The incident occurred around 12.38 a.m. on the 4500 block of Huron Street in the French Town Township. Deputies were dispatched after receiving reports of a home invasion in progress involving two residents inside the home. One of the intruders, a 32-year-old man from Newport, was shot with an arrow fired by the homeowner. The injury forced both intruders to flee the scene, but they soon were apprehended. The injured suspect was taken to the hospital for surgery to remove the arrow and is now in police custody as he recovers. Now that sucks. You get shot with an arrow and you're in jail while you're recovering. Should be stupid, okay? Don't do dumb stuff. The second suspect, a 42-year-old man from Newport, was arrested shortly after being held at Monroe County Jail shortly after, and is being held at Monroe County Jail. Police have stated that the identities of the suspects will not be released until they are formally arraigned. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office believes that the incident was not random. Suspects were 
suspecting it stemmed from an ongoing dispute between the individuals involved. And then it gives a little safety tip, which, you know, the safety tip, always ensure that any self-defense tools, whether firearms or other weapons like crossbows, are properly stored and safely accessible only to authorized individuals. Familiarize yourself with the local laws governing their use and for home defense. So basically, I mean, not a whole lot to the story, but it's just, you know, this is the importance of having some kind of a defensive tool, whether if you're allowed to have a gun, some of you may not be allowed to have a gun, get it. But if you can have a crossbow, that may not be considered a firearm or a bow or whatever. I mean, any kind of, any kind of defense, because you never know when people are going to come in, especially if you've been having some kind of a dispute with people, they might want to come in and want to try and hurt you. Hey y'all, sorry for interrupting, but I just wanted to show you this little, this little knife that I use. It's a, it's a folder. It's a CRKT hijinks. Now it's not, I'm not a, a sponsored by these guys at all. I'm not sponsored by CRKT or nothing. I just wanted to come on and show you, and I'm not, and I don't sell these personally. So I just wanted to show you kind of some of the equipment I use. This is the CRKT Hijinx. There's a link down below if you want to get one, but it's a good solid knife. It stays sharp, and it it does sharpen up really well. It's it's good solid knife, and it's it's kind of got a good good looking blade on it. And so if you want to help me, click that link if you want to pick up one. It's a it's an excellent knife at a really good price by CRKT, which is a decent company. Like I said, I'm not sponsored at all by, in any way by these guys. They're not paying me to, to do this. But there's a link below, and I don't sell them. It's to an Amazon link. So if you want to get one, that would be cool. And then you're also helping me out with a few pennies. It is an, an Amazon associate link. So you would be helping me out with, with a few pennies if you bought one. And that would be awesome. It's the hijinx. It's it's a flipper. It's a, you know it's good solid. I like using it. It's like a a good backup to my EDC. Or if I need something a little bit more stout than than the one I carry, it's a good knife. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Back to the show. Carry a gun. Have a gun. Carry a gun. You never know. This world's getting crazy. You never know what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. Stay alert. Have situational awareness. You know, have a plan. When you're walking into somewhere, look at the people. If anybody looks suspicious, keep an eye on them. Know your surroundings, your entrance, your exits, your, you know, your hiding, you know. If something does happen, you know, it's just while you're standing there. If you're standing there in your bank waiting to go cash your check or whatever they don't really do check cashing anymore but regardless you're sitting in a bank ready to do a deposit or whatever you do you know checking you know okay i can go out that way i can go out that way i can hide under this desk and then you look at the people he kind of looks like he might be a little suspicious right there you yeah you you know who you're talking about might be kind of, you know, just kind of keep an eye, keep, you know, stay aware whether you're in your car, you see people, you know, there's been a lot of road rage shootings, road rage incidences where, you know, you cut somebody off and you get shot for it or you, or somebody cuts you off and you get mad. So you start chasing them down and then you end up getting shot over it or whatever. It, it, it's been happening a lot more lately and it's going to keep happening. World's getting crazier. It's not going to get any better, period. I mean, it's not going to get better. That's the that's just the way it goes. It's not going to get better. I mean, parts may get better, may may get better. The best words, awesome. But parts of the world might get better of life and but as far as like criminals, violent crime, it's only going to get worse. You know, society is just goes downhill. It's just dropping, and the way culture is, it's not going to get any better. So. Keep yourself armed with with the most effective thing you can carry legally. I'm not telling you to break any laws. You know, you do you. I mean, if, if you feel like it, 
that's on you. I'm not telling you break. Carry whatever you can carry that's most legal, that's most lethal, that's legal for you to carry. Don't break any laws. You didn't hear that from me. Don't break, don't break any laws. But carry the most effective tool that you can to defend yourself legally. If, you, if all you can carry is a two-inch pocket knife, carry a two-inch pocket knife and learn how to use that two-inch pocket knife effectively that you can defend yourself with it. If all you can carry is whatever, a can of bear spray or a keychain mace, carry it, train with it, practice with it, use it, know how to use it, know when to use it, and learn your evasion. You know, learn how to evade the situation, learn how to get away. You know, spray him with your mace and and dart, you know, while he's still, uh, my eyes here, escape, you know, learn, learn the best ways to, to counteract it the best way you can legally, wherever your state is, whatever your situation is, best tool possible for you. Anyway, enough of that, just rambling, carry a, carry a weapon, carry a tool, stay aware, stay alert, have your situational awareness and be trained to use it. Anyway, that's the video. Appreciate y'all. Love you. Especially you. And you. Don't want to leave you out. But anyway, love y'all. Appreciate it. Couldn't do this without you. Wouldn't do it without you. Hit the Do the YouTube stuff. You know what to do. You know, there's links below. Supers, you know, links for whatever... I talked about whatever, if you know, links below for whatever. Just if you feel like helping out the channel, links below, sub, the supers, subscribe button, whatever. Just hit the subscribe at least. That costs you nothing and takes you like five seconds. So, anyway, appreciate y'all. Love you. Couldn't do without you. And I'll see you in the next one.